As we all know, strategic management is not always confined to the strategy implementation process. There is a long list of preceding activities, the most important among them is planning. So basically, we divide the whole strategic management process into four phases, of which the first three belong to planning. It's worth noting that planning and forecasting play a major role in the strategic management body of knowledge. Let's have a brief understanding of these four strategic management phases. The first one is basic financial planning. In this phase, managers often collect the available data within the firm, mainly the historic data, and prepare a budget. A few sales data from the market are often available at this stage but are not sufficient. Since the same is projected only in the coming year, it is usually termed a short-term plan. The second phase is called forecast-based planning. Here managers keep the short-term plan aside and start forecasting for the next three to five years. Available environmental data are also considered at this stage. In big organizations, different subsidiaries or departments often compete with each other to put all budgets together to have a common consensus. The third phase is externally oriented planning and this is the actual strategic planning we are talking about. In this phase, the planning responsibility is shifted from managers to top management. Strategic plans are created and based on that, strategic formulation happens. Competition and market needs are thought about in detail and responsiveness to that are strategically planned. In the final phase of strategic management, management prepares planning groups at different levels of the organization with a more interactive kind of planning. The primary objectives of the firm are the focus of this phase. More detailing in implementation and evaluation methodologies are attempted and emphasized in this final phase.